B'nai Zion Medical Center in Haifa is in many ways like any other hospital. Hundreds of people come and go every day. Broken bones are healed. Babies are born. People learn to walk again. And ambulances come to emergency just like they do where you live. But here at B'nai Zion, emergencies can have a very different meaning. In 2006, during the attack on Haifa, B'nai Zion Hospital was on the front lines for the battle when two missiles landed in the street just a few yards from the entrance. For days, the hospital was overcome with casualties and confusion. Potential had become emergency, and the hospital was challenged not only with helping the injured who were brought in, but protecting the patients who were already there. Plans have now been made to build an underground bomb and chemical-proof emergency facility at the hospital. It would house not only a new underground emergency room, but would serve as a protected area for hospital patients in the event of another attack. Dr. Amnon Rofe is the CEO at Pene Zion. For him, the new protected emergency center is the hospital's number one priority. Uh, we are starting to build our uh, underground protected emergency room and the hospitalization unit, and I'm very excited of it. I know it will take three years, three and a half years, and during those years I'll have to raise more funds, but I can start, and I'm starting, and it makes me very happy. The medical center serves all of northern Israel, providing compassionate care without regard to one's ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, or economic status. This is truly a hospital that cares for and about its patients. Last year, over 195,000 babies were born in Israel. While most children are born without problems, it's not always the case. The hospital's neonatal intensive care facility is second to none in Israel, thanks in a great part to the support it has received from the B'nai Zion Foundation. You see, uh, we can compete with the big medical center, uh, the huge, you know, thousand bed uh, hospital. So our philosophy coming from top to bottom to give the patient feeling that we are kind of a family and we give them the feeling that they be secure here, although we are not a major big medical center. My memory from here is mostly the staff, the warmth, the humanity, always having our questions answered, everything we wanted. We knew everything that was happening because they told us. This is Northern Israel's state-of-the-art medical center, 450 beds, 1,800 employees, where each year over 65,000 people visit emergency and 14,000 surgeries are performed by some of Israel's top surgeons and medical teams. But it's the ongoing threat of another attack that worries Dr. Michael Kafka the most. As head of B'nai Zion's emergency department, it's Dr. Kafka and his staff that will see the worst if and when the worst comes again. First of all, I know that uh, uh, constructing a new uh, emergency, protective emergency department, even now that we are already ready with all the programs, uh, it takes about three years. So uh, this is the most important thing for this hospital. But in addition, we have to continue uh, and give the best medical uh, supply to our patients. Uh, we have high standard medicine here. Uh, we need things for the present situation. We need uh, more monitors, we need uh, respirators, we need stretchers. Any help is welcome. Help to, to, to preserve what we have now so that the uh, standard of medicine is not, will not fall down. And of course help for our future protected uh, department. I would like to take this opportunity to say a big thank you to all our friends in the world, in the United States. I travel to the United States at least two, three, four times a year and I meet many good people, warm-hearted people that help us during the years on behalf of my st our staff, on behalf of our patient and myself. Thank you all.